right, so we just arrived in Harrelson County and we're gonna see what kind of uh, cool and exciting buildings we can find today. And we will uh, shoot them as we find them, so stay tuned. All right, welcome to my next video. This is Liam Douglas with the Forgotten Pieces of Georgia Project. And we're here in Harrelson County today and we're in the town of Bremen. And I found this abandoned bank here, um, sits up off of the uh, main highway going through the area. I couldn't find any kind of signage looking in the windows to indicate what bank used to be here. Uh, the building's currently for sale, so I'm going to have to do some research to find out which one of the, the major banks in the state of Georgia was in this facility at one time. But we're going to go ahead and get some images of it, and then we'll move on and see what else we can find in Harrison County. All right, so the next buildings I found in Harrelson County are here in this little strip mall. We have uh, Sora's Restaurant, um, which was established in 2018, but it looks like they're gone already. I looked in the main windows. There are still some tables and chairs in there, but all of the patio furniture is gone. The patio menus are gone. The big screen TV that was out there is gone. Um, so it looks like it might be abandoned. Then over here, we have a business that was art and frame in the mid suite here that's empty and then there's one on each side of art and frame that are also vacant um, the only active things still in here from the looks of it are a church with its own daycare and the uh, campaign local campaign office for a gentleman that's running for state senate so we're going to go ahead and get some shots of this stuff here and then we'll move on and see what else we can find in harrelson county Okay, so the next building I found in Harrelson County is this uh, blue warehouse type building. Not sure what used to be in there. It's definitely empty now. It's got a semi-trailer parked across the front of it. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and get some pictures of it and then we'll move on and see what else we can find. Okay, so the next building I found in Harrelson County is this small building here. I'm not sure exactly what it was. It's got a garage door on the front of it. Looks like it could have been a small auto shop or something like that at one time. But we'll go ahead and get a, shot, a couple of shots of it and then we'll see what we can find out about it later on. Okay, the next building I found in Harrelson County is this uh, Helping Lazarus Fashion. It looks like it was a clothing donation organization, maybe church-based, uh, that took clothing donations for the homeless and stuff like that. Uh, but it doesn't look like it's been open for a while. There's a few bags of clothes laying out on the doorstep that look like they've been laying there for months, if not years, and never picked up. So we'll get some shots of this and then we'll move on. Okay, we're still in Harrelson County. We're now in the city of Buchanan, which is the county seat. And I found this uh, abandoned Doughboy's Pizza. And then there's another storefront next to it, which looks like it's just being used as a storage unit for a lot of clutter and junk. So we're gonna go ahead and get some shots of these buildings and then we'll move on. All right, so the next building I found in Buchanan and Harrelson County is this one here. Um, it used to be an Italian restaurant. The Italian sign's still on the roof, but then it's covered over. And the more recent sign is Blaze and Blake's Steak and Seafood, but I don't even think they're in business anymore because the building's for sale. And when I looked in the windows, it's a pretty empty building. 
Um, so we're going to go ahead and get some shots of this and move on. All right, so the last building I found for Harlson County is this uh, Joey B's restaurant. A uh, gentleman I just talked to who had stopped here was telling me that this Joey B's and the building next door, um, Blaze and Blake's, were originally owned by the same people. And they had successful restaurants here for years. Um, and then when they retired and got out of it, nobody's had any luck uh, staying in business in either one of these locations. Uh, on the corner of this building, there was also a barber shop that's now gone. So we're gonna go ahead and get some images of these. And this will wrap up Harrelson County. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Please, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified when new videos come out. And I will see you in the next video.